Vitalik Buterin. He's been a friend of the, the ETH Ember effort for some time and um, obviously is um, very interested in lots of different developments that might be happening. So when we um, originally invited uh, Vitalik to come and read the B is for Bufficorn book with the governor at ETH Denver 2020, um, one of the things that we were talking about is sort of the curiosity around, wow, this is, you know, an actual state government interested in, in doing something innovative. And yeah, so as we've sort of talked about it over the, over the time, even since ETH Denver, um, there's, you know, some intrigue here and there's a lot of, there's a lot of really great partnership opportunity vectors. And um, we're so grateful to have Vitalik come and spend a little time with us and give us his, his insights on why this is such an interesting and an important formation of opportunity for uh, just the future of all of these efforts technologically that we've got going on. So with that, um, I'd like to introduce Vitalik Buterin, the founder of the Ethereum and the inventor of the Ethereum protocol. Uh, Vitalik, go ahead and take it away, man. Thank you, and it's, uh, it's good to be here. Good to see you again, John. Um, we're good to- uh, Likewise. It's good to see uh, Colorado friends again virtually. Um, so I think uh, kind of what brings us uh, together here is uh, a couple of things, right? So I think kind of the blockchain community and in which the Ethereum community is obviously part of, and uh, if a lot of uh, many people in the state of Colorado are basically both trying to kind of see if we can come up with ways to kind of upgrade our community infrastructure to satisfy the needs of the internet age, right? And the internet has obviously brought a lot of changes to society, a lot of changes to the world, a lot of uh, kind of new things become possible with the internet. There's a, um, and uh, there's a lot of new challenges, um, and you know. I know that uh, Colorado, the state of Colorado, for example, has been very interested in, you know, looking at kind of more radical new, appro new approaches at things like governance and at things like community organization. Uh, so, for example, I know that um, the Democratic Party has used their quadratic voting um, at, as a uh, mechanism for uh, decision making. Um, we have a, a local uh, community that's uh, been uh, trying to do quadratic funding uh, in for some businesses in downtown and Boulder. Um, and so there's a lot of these interesting experiments, right? And ultimately, kind of these kinds of experiments are in many ways what the Ethereum community is all about, right? The Ethereum community is all about trying to see, you know, can we use blockchains plus other things and you know, whatever makes sense in, in each use case to try to see if we can come up with better ways to basically help groups of people cooperate. And, and you know, that's uh, something that, uh, you know, people have done kind of through the blockchain itself, through smart contracts, uh, through kind of DAOs in some cases, um, even, even um, through things um, like some of these uh, kind of uh, technologies to allow for more kind of trust minimized interaction. So kind of sec even just secure randomness is one really good, re really good example of this in one very particular field. Um, and, you know, these are things that are very important, right? And I think people are you know, realizing that you kind know, of the way that our economy works right now is ultimately an event, you know, as uh, kind of the, the usual quote goes, kind of paleo, paleolithic humans with medieval institutions with uh, modern super technology, right? And so if we can and if, see if we can take some of their new super technology we've invented in the last couple of decades and actually help people kind of work together in deeper ways at scale, um, then that's the sort of th um, the, the sort of thing that's kind of completely in the Ethereum community's vision, right? And things like uh, supporting public goods development is something that's very close to the Ethereum community's heart just because in the Ethereum community, as in many other free software, well, in all free software communities, just about everything is a public good. You know, you write a piece of code it, and you publish it. It's not really owned by anyone. That's just something that you've kind of released and put out there and anyone can go and download it. If um, I write a blog post, everyone in the world can go read it. And so we are kind of interacting with each other and, and uh, cooperating and benefiting each other at these uh, kind of very large and unprecedented scales. Um, and we just need to have a kind of better um, infrastructure to or organize and um, encourage those kinds of things. And um, so very happy to see 
you know, they were excited to see what kinds of things that people come up with in this hackathon um, and hope uh, that these are things that people will kind of not stop here and just continue working on for a long time. Thank you, Vitalik, mm -hmm. for taking the time. Uh, we look forward to getting you back out here to Colorado and unpacking even more opportunities as they come up. So we appreciate your mm -hmm. support and uh, we look forward to seeing how these things go. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing you visiting Colorado too.